I just got to the thrift store. I'm about to go in and I wanted to say hi. Hello. Um, I am on a mission today to find some like designer dupe kind of pieces. Um, so I was actually looking at like, I think it was the brand Orasund Iris and I love, is that what it's called? Orasund, hold on. Orasund Iris. I believe that that's the brand. Um, and they have such beautiful pieces that I love so much. And I was eyeing them the other day and I was like, why don't I just go to the thrift store and look and see if I can find anything similar. That's pretty specific because they have a very specific vibe, but I have faith that I might be able to find something. But then I was also just on like this Harper's Bazaar one of like the article sites that I like to go on a lot for fashion is Harper's Bazaar um, and they have this article of, oh my god it's so loud right now came across this article from it was like from August but it was for top fashion trends of the fall 2021 season it has like a bunch of like fashion um, trends but that's not really what I'm looking at I'm looking at like some of the pieces for fall that they listed from these designers and I kind of picked a few that I might be able to find at the thrift store so I'm gonna go in and kind of uh, see what I can find like they have these little things set up if you can see this of a bunch of different um, Designers and their runway pieces that kind of match like the trends that they listed I don't know. I just thought it might be fun to do on a Monday. Um, it's the start of November. Happy November everyone November I really like that month um, and then it comes December, which is one of my favorite months So anyway, um, let's go into the store and see I don't know. Let's just go see it's so loud also by the way I'm so sorry the um this parking lot is right by the road. Oops, I already turned my car off. Um, and let's see. Here, maybe I'll show you my outfit really quick. This is the outfit. My loafers. You can see that. And then my Paloma Wool sweater. Abercrombie pants. But anyway. Okay, wait. I just came in and I saw the scarf section. And I've been looking for scarves with these tassels on them. And this one looks so soft and I want to look at it see it looks super soft but I just think I won't wear this color but it's like perfect otherwise and it reminds me of one of the ones I was looking at from Aritzia it literally feels just like an Aritzia one but it's the um Lauren Conrad brand and I think it's so nice but like I said I wish it was a different color like any other color and I would wear it so much more but this reminds me of something that I would see on on farfetch or something i don't know um but the color of it is really beautiful first of all second of all i love the style of it It looks very um tailored and tailored and nice for like a quilt vest it's rather than like one of the puffy ones so this kind of reminds me of something that would be designer i don't know of anything that i can compare it to it is Anne klein so technically it is um but i just thought it was super cute I just found this and it's just kind of random because I literally just saw an All Saints jacket, I believe on Essence or something, last night that looks exactly like this. Um, and I'll put it here, but I just think this is so nice. It's not my size, obviously, um, but it's almost like a windbreaker material, but in like trench coat form, but it's also short. So I think it would be like such a cute, perfect fall or spring jacket. I was trying to only pick this up and for some reason because of the ruffles I think in it. It reminded me of a rat and boa top that I would see all over Instagram this summer and I just thought it was super cute um, and playful and like pretty. How perfect are these? A chocolate brown pinstripe and like the shape of them. Oh my God, I wish these were my size. I wonder if they're Jamie's. Ooh, these might fit her. I might pick them up for Jamie, my sister, because those are just like too good to pass almost. I'm gonna see. Cute is this little polka dot set. It's originally from Forever 21 and obviously it's not my size, but I think it's so cute. And like to dress it up or even dress it down with like a little jacket under or over it, like a trench coat over it with like black chunky boots or even Converse. That would be cute. I love the polka dots.
Okay, so let me show you what I found so far in that little section because I think I found a few little cute things that I actually some of them I might pick up for myself and we're gonna see, so. Okay, so first we have shirts. And this shirt right here, if you can see it has like a waffle knit texture. It just reminded me of something that I would find at a Ritzy or something. It just looked very nice and it's super long. And I feel like it would have been perfect for the summertime, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna grab it or not, but I think it's cute nonetheless. And then this, okay, so this top I saw, and I saw something by Jacquemus on um, Essence, and it was like a top that, here, I'll put a picture up. Looking around the back, and so it's only like a crop top, and I feel like I could potentially do something like that with this so i might grab it and just try it out and if not i'll just wear it like this under things or like as a top uh, tucked into pants i think that would be super cute too as you can see it's just like a plain button up by vince camuto and it's just a nice plain white i found two tank tops too this one i just thought was super cute i always need like pretty little dainty tanks like this to wear to like concerts or just out and to go out you know like some going out clothes under things and stuff and then this tank top i just thought was like perfect black tank top and it's like cropped so i thought that might be nice again for under things i'm not 100 percent sure i don't know then i found a pair of white pants which i think might be nice because of the cut on them i think they're more of like a straight leg because i have a pair of white jeans that i wear all the time that are a little like straighter than I want or tighter than I want on the leg. I kind of want ones that are a little bit looser, so I might pick these up, I'm not sure. Um, they have like a stretch waist, if you can see that. I don't know, that might be comfy. Kind of just reminded me of something. I don't know what though, but I liked it because it's like textured. Um, just like to tuck in again to things. Cute. I like the suede. I like that it's black too. I'm not sure that I need it, but I think it's super cute and only $12.99. That's not too bad. For like a nice jacket like that. Okay, wait, this is like funky. Love that. It's like stitched on there. Oh, also fun. Very fun. I think it's, oh no, it's not. Oh yeah, it is like see-through through it. Transparent, love that. Okay, this to me almost looks like a deconstructed blazer from Orson Iris um, that they have, that they have like a matching pair of pants too because it's kind of more short, cut off. I don't know if you can tell that by looking at it. And just in general, it's a more casual blazer. If we took like this one off, I think that would be super cute. Okay, wait, I just randomly saw these. And do these not look like the perfect pair of pants? I think that you'd find at a Ritzy or something. I just love that. Um, <clears throat> they're by Dockers Women's. Cool, um, and the color's nice. If you can see all of these dresses here, they go all the way down there. And I think I'm going to make my way through them. Um, right now and see what we can find because I never really go through the dresses and if they have this money I should be able to find something right. Okay, I'm starting actually over here in the corner by the skirts and I just saw this Skirt which I thought would be so cute laced up on the sides um, Even with like a little belt and it has a slit on it and I just love it Oops, Sorry <laughs> um This size is large. I'm trying to see if it'll fit. <gasps> okay, I feel like I kind of should try it and just lace it up somehow with like laces. I don't know. I don't know if this is real or faux, but I did see on the Harper's Bazaar list like long brown faux leather skirt or midi skirt, which I thought was super cute. And I was just looking for one. I couldn't find anything like that, but this was the closest thing to it. But that actually makes me want to add that to my list. The brown faux leather midi skirt. Like, I don't know. 
feel like that could go with a lot of different things. It would be perfect for fall and winter. Um, layer tights under it, boots, sneakers, whatever I think would be super cute. Um, but now we're gonna start on the dresses, which I'm kind of excited about, kind of nervous. look at this skirt I think that would be so cute for the fall time with sweaters and stuff see the, if you can see that that's how long it is on me like look at that I just think it's so cute it's by Alfred Dunner um, and it's only two dollars I kind of need that look at the stitching can you see that so cute okay now the dresses I promise Wear, which is one of my personal favorite brands and it's sold at Target and they always have the cutest polka dot pieces um, and that's super cute wish it was my size okay how pretty is this I believe this is um, a Kemi and Kin which I think is an anthropology brand but look at how gorgeous the whole beading and the front and everything Right, and it's fun, a little search. Yes, that's true. <laughs> right. Good. I don't think I found any dresses for me. I'm holding on to this because I don't know if my sister would want to wear that to like Thanksgiving or something. I don't know, I just think it's cute. Um, and now I'm looking in the leggings because my number one favorite tip in general, if you buy workout clothes, I find the most comfy, best workout clothes at, um, at the thrift stores. And so I'm looking and peeking and seeing if they have any leggings or anything because I'm a legging collector. You know what's funny? I feel like I always say that I'm a collector of anything and I just realize it's just because I find an excuse to like something and buy a lot of it so I call myself a collector for that piece um, because I am not a collector of leggings. I just like to be comfy and wear leggings so um, I just expose myself. But anyway now let's peek through here. Got these are like scuba. Scuba ones. It could kind of be cute actually. Well they're by Curves. See, like look at how perfect those are. Perfect condition and super nice. See, and it also gives you the opportunity um, or myself the opportunity to pretend that I have the balls to attend Orange Theory. Um, but good nonetheless. I think I found these airy ones that I'm gonna pick up. Um, $4 for, you know, airy ones which have to be at least 25 bucks. I don't know and I really like them in general. Um, their brand for workout clothes or just comfy clothes, one of the best, so they grab those. See, also kind of cute, and I think you guys might think I'm crazy, but when I think of things and say they're cute, I think of this with like a pair of white uh, boot cut pants and some like cream shoes or boots and with like a little black beret or something, or a navy beret. I don't know, that's how I <laughs> picture things. And even if I wouldn't wear the outfit myself, I'd still think it could be cute. Why I felt the need to explain that, I do not know, but nonetheless. I just know those would be the perfect pair of shorts. <laughs> you can just kind of tell sometimes. Like, I saw them like that, and if they ever look like that, it's a yes. Oh my god. See, you guys, I'm always attracted to H&M sweaters. Always. I just know whenever I see the side of it that it's going to be H&M, and look, at it is. New with tags, and I might pick this up, even though it's a small. I think I maybe could fit it because it has big balloon sleeves. 
and it's just so nice. Okay, wait, this also kind of reminds me of an Orson Iris, like if it was cut off, which I think you actually could do with this, and then it has the tie, um, and you made it like a cropped sweater, I think that would be super cute. I'm going to peek through the men's section really quick. I just found this hat, which I might grab because I like it. Um, it says Jake number five in it, which is my brother's name, first of all. Second of all, I wonder if it's a player. Probably not. I don't know. But nonetheless, look at what I just saw on this side. <laughs> I kind of like this. Why do I kind of like that? I think it's kind of fun and funky because it kind of looks like it would be a trench coat, but is it blazer? But a long blazer? Let me try it on. Tell me why I thought this was going to be Prada when I saw the little triangle. But nonetheless, go off. Okay, these are in the little girl section. But look at how cute, they're little flared plaid pants. I think that's adorable. Um, but yeah, I'm just peeking around the kids. Because of the fact that I always have baby fever, I'm always on alert for baby clothes. I'm not pregnant, not planning to be, but I do keep a stash of little baby clothes. I don't know. I think I'm going to head through the home section, actually. I haven't gone thrifting for home stuff in a minute, and I'm getting the itch right now, so let's just go since we're here together, right? Why do I literally want one of these made of Felix? Like, drawn? Oh my god, I want that to hang up a Felix. I love this little tea light candle holder with the houndstooth. I think that's actually cute for Christmas time. You guys, look at these. I think they're little Christmas tree ornaments. Oh my God. <laughs> You're coming home with me. Are those pandas? I think they're pandas, right? Ugh. I don't know how much they are, but I'm going to get them. Okay, how amazing are those? I just don't know if I like the black part on the bottom here. I'm gonna look at that in it. You guys, how cute are these? They almost look like, well they smell, I think they have perfume in them. Um, yeah, Bird of Paradise bath oil and perfume. Also, I kind of just need him, you know, around for the holidays. He deserves a home at my house for a holiday, for the holidays. I love this. For on a wall, you hang it. Cute. This is tempting. Very tempting. Oh, thank you. That pretty. video <laughs> um so i have my box here with my stuff i'm going to try to run through this really quickly um because i talk a lot and this video is already pretty long i got a lot of footage thankfully from the thrift store but that means i don't really want to talk your ear off in this portion so i'm gonna try to make it snappy and let's just go through each piece shall we so first up i got this tank top so this tank top i just thought was super cute it's like a nice silky satin um, like almost like the lingerie section probably and I just think it'll be super cute under blazers um, under jackets whatever and I love these kind of tops for that and it was only $1.99 next I got 
Okay, this was a kind of random one. I was not going in looking for this, but I just thought it was like a really nice, simple basic. I don't have any like v-neck sweaters, and this was just a slight v-neck because I'm not super into v-necks, but I wanted to try it out. So this was the perfect one for me. My $2 skirt. This skirt, I don't know, I keep looking at it, and I'm just like, it has my heart. I think it's so adorable. I think it's gonna be so cute with, um, like I said it in the video, with like tights, or something even for Thanksgiving. I think this is a cute skirt, but just in general, I could wear like a sweatshirt with it and I think it would be cute. Like, I don't know, I just love this skirt. Anyway, so these pants. I bought the Airy um, leggings. I hope they're gonna fit. Now that I'm looking at them, they look kind of small, they're size large, and they're $3.99. Next, I ended up with this H&M sweater. I just thought it was perfect. I can't ever pass on, especially a new with tags H&M sweater. It's, um, it was, I paid $5, but it's originally $25, and like I said, brand new. Okay, this white short sleeve button up. I bought it for an experiment, and I think it's going to work, so I'm gonna try out doing the little button thing around um, my body. Okay, if you can see this, I literally just buttoned it down and I tucked the rest into my bra and then around the back I tucked that into my bra just for right now and I think what I'll end up doing is probably just cutting it and sewing it in the back um, so there's not a bunch of extra fabric, but I think it looks pretty similar. Like the Jack, I think it was the Jack and Moose one. Um, or it was the Orson Iris. I think it was Jack Moose. If not, I still just thought it would be really cute under sweaters, not long sleeve. I feel like it won't get too hot under like a sweater or crew neck, whatever I wanted to put like a little white collar under. And just in general, it's a nice basic. Um, but it was $7.99, which I'm just not looking at. I'm like, dang, that was kind of like a lot for that. But see, like even this for this basic t-shirt, it's literally just a t-shirt. Anyway, um, nonetheless, I love it. I think it will be the perfect white t-shirt to wear under things. I like like a white t-shirt that's not super structured. Like, you know, like those Hanes ones sometimes are a little too thick to feel cozy in. And I just think this one will be really good. I'm upset about that. Um, and then... <laughs> I actually forgot that I had it in my car until I went up to the um, checkout and the lady was like, oh my god, that brings back memories or whatever, and I was like, that we're old now. And don't roast me for this, but it's an Enrique Iglesias um, and Pitbull VIP bag. So I can pretend I, too, went to the Enrique Iglesias and Pitbull VIP event. Um, well, it was probably just like on a tour and people bought this and they got it when they went to the VIP But I just saw recently, but recently Jared and I went to see a Pitbull concert And it was like the best concert ever. We were dancing like the whole time It was just so fun. And so when I saw it, it was Pitbull, I'm like, wait, Pitbull's one of my favorites like of all time I wear this happily to the grocery store and put my little cheese and my crackers in it and whatever so Anyway, I haven't shown Jared this. He's gonna probably laugh so hard when he sees it. Um, but anyway. Okay, last thing for clothing, I believe, is this hat. Okay, cute, perfect. I just wanted like, I love just hats. And when you find like a nice quality, good, taken care of hat at the thrift store, I just always grab them. And I liked the colors in it. I have a pair of orange pants. And I don't know why that matters with that, but it does in my head. And anyway, okay, as for home decor, I did end up getting those lamps that you saw me put in my cart. They are beautiful. They are chef's kiss, gorgeous, perfection models. But I'm trying to find a really good spot for them in my house to display them. Like, yeah. Um, anyway, okay, next for home, I got this little bowl. I just thought it was really pretty, and it reminded me of those um, firm living glasses, I believe. Um, the drinking glasses. And then I did end up with these. Stuff with these little tree ornaments of the pandas. I just thought they were so cute and too good not to. Like, how cute. So, those are going to go on the Christmas tree for sure. And then, along with them, this little guy. My cow Santa. Santa Moo. Moo Santa. I don't know what to call him. Um, but he's super cute with his little cow print and his little list sitting. Um, and then, lastly... Uh, anything I see with checker print, I get, and so I got this, and I'll probably honestly set it on my little pedestal that I have in my office that you guys have probably seen a bunch of times, and style it up, because I think it's cute, and just easy, and yeah. Those are all of the things that I bought at the thrift store, but I hope you had a good time, thanks for hanging out with me, and um, if you want to subscribe, that, uh, there's a button down below for that. <laughs> And I thank you if you do. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.